ask him why. That was my last three puppets. Was one of the three big albums that Metallica put out back in 1986. This March 3rd, 1986, with Metallica. This is their third studio album. And of course, Sweet Sound Stories, one of the three last ones in the Sweet Metallica album was a major work of the deal. Last Sports was the little band's last song was a feature bass clip where who had died in the bus act on Sweet and Dirty Downs Wolf Tour. If you guys recall, when Metallica was really big at the time, when Mass and Puppets came out in the first early that old. If you guys have not seen the interview icon documentary that they did of Talga, you guys definitely need to watch it because it details when Master Comics first came out back in 1986. And then when all hell broke loose, it was that fatal bus crash that claimed the life of their guitarist Cliff Burner at the time. Over the peak of number 29 and the Billboard 200 became their first thrash metal album to be similar to play. It was certified six times by the Recording Industry Association of America in 2003 for, ship, for shipping six million copies in the United States. And that was officially certified six times by the new can of the gold by the British Photographic Industry. I remember. Uh, listen to Metallica way back in the day. I never heard the Master Puppets album. I probably heard Welcome Home Saturn way before the album was officially day came out and this was not too long ago. I did pick up a copy of the album Metallica Master Puppets because that's a, uh, you know, at your record store, or your grocery store, like say Walmart, for example, and I saw the talk about the public album. I was just like, holy shit, this is like the rarest, rarest talk album. But uh, I was very pleased how well. Master Puppets first came out and eventually now I have a copy of the album. Master Puppets was released for Clinical Clemens, Clemens, and Seven Hope Cage Best of the List. It's trying to control some music and anger political lyrics during praise from critics of that novel. And I'll come in. That was considered the best strongest ever period and it was eventually heading the Alps group. Kirk's consulting work, fashion, singing videos, and other speaks. Many bands for all drums and heavy metal have come out of the album songs, including Dreaming of Master Puppets with Dean Gold, a historically pretty enough proposition of the National Organization for the United States Liberal Congress in 2016. What if you record the current distinction of Master Puppets being the first man of the selection? Basically, it was the album. I mean, since it was when the album was coming out, the 1983 Dan Kelly will probably draft more aggressive. Basically, the album was being put together before it was basically how the world of it was making all the way press groups and bands from the main tier and the just have a drink or smoke for the one song where no all of the time I suppose to a bill with the use of garage and I'll start to call up for playing bass clip burn there's Kirk Hanks and rehearsals here which I'll describe so just with starting with guitar bass and sound with the sound with the sound with the words and until they start with the sound with the song and I'll be back here with the song until I'm told we have the world links to match the time I'm asking for the dumps first I'm not he just saw a contribution from the former wood guitars that he was saying. He was simply getting the gold of the wood was uh, based on a road song called The Hills Around Red. Basically, the old master puppets was known to, to this day 
I'd like to really go back in the archives and to really listen to old school time, the most painting master puppets. You really get to see how far in resemblance the band Metallica really has really has come. the Master Puppets album. <coughs> it's basically very old school. Like this is like their older Metallica material that they have done. I mean basically listen to all the local was had too I know that some was also covered uh, by the Biscuit during the interview icon documentary that was aired on TV because there was a whole thing tribute to Metallica. There were bands and covered Metallica songs, but I remember uh, hearing that the Biscuit was covered Metallica and they did a local room sanitarium. I was just like, holy shit, this is, this was like very odd to see a new metal rock group, new rock edge, with biscuits doing Metallica because, in my opinion, that's something you never see a band like any band could ever do, but it has a sign of respect. But uh, if you had to ask where would you bring Master Puppets in Metallica's album archive? I mean, this is very rare and very, like, it's definitely up there, probably top two or top one. Like, you look at every Metallica album that they have put out from Master Puppets, Red Lightning. Sank Anger, Black Hole, Kill the Ball, uh, Movie, Slow Man. Master Pebbles was pretty much Metallica's starting point albums that they have done. 